Smith from Stewarts and Designs. We are at the Factory of Terror, Wooster Mass. Yep, oh, Carmi Country. Yeah, conservative versus liberal. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that. Anyways, um, this is the first room of the 3D maze. Uh, Tony and Sue, super nice people. Um, wanted to make sure that we had a huge boom, you know, for the people when they walked in. So we spent a good amount of time making sure this was taken care of. And this is a good example of how we tackle a room. I went around and I put the white primer on everything all at once, creating my creatures. And then we sat there and as I had color in the guns, um, using uh, automatic, automotive spray guns, went and colored where I needed to on each piece until uh, they were ready for detail. And then, of course, each one gets detailed individually. Also, this is another opportunity to show you guys once a piece is detailed, um, we need to take care of some of the overspray because um, we're going to want to go some images in the background and I like a nice flat black surface for that. So we got to get rid of uh, what, what some of my customers call the Stewie Glow. We got to get that out of there. So um, once the detail is done, and you'll notice as we get down to one of these pieces, um, that we're going to take black and we're gonna go all the way around the thing and just clean it all up. Before we do the highlights or our ghosting, we just want to clean it up and get a nice stiff image there, almost sticker-like right on the wall before we start added in wispies and drool and, and the highlights and everything. So, um, this room was about 20 by 20. Uh, it really shows what you can do. You know, square room, I mean, there wasn't a lot of cool architecture other than uh, Tony did not want me painting um, some of these old support beams and I thought, you know, the architecture with the broken out cement and some of the rust and nasties on them actually looked pretty cool in the room without having to throw any UV paint on them. Um, so that worked out really nice. Um, again, you can't pick your room when you arrive. I mean, you're given what you're given to paint. You gotta make the best of it. Um, also, uh, yes, these are individual paintings done on walls. Some of them are bending around walls. Some are just straight on a, on a flat wall. Uh, but when you're ghosting things out, uh, you can kind of blend them in from wall to wall, and so instead of having one piece, you have, um, you know, a whole piece going all the way around rather than small little individual pieces. Um, and uh, we don't allow a staunch black, so uh, we want to make sure that, that uh, when the customer walks in, he sees everything. Of course, later on, we're going to come along and paint the floor. And, as far as the floor goes, uh, Tony had somebody come in with a, a diamond bit sander and etch the concrete, uh, make sure it was nice and clean. Um, used to be a shop, and actually when he, he acquired the building, this thing was flooded with four feet of water. So there was all sorts of nasties down the floor. So he took the time to clean up the floor, so I had a great paint surface. So consider that before you have somebody come down, such as myself or you know, somebody else that that floor has got to be nice and clean if you want to make sure that the floor is going to last for so many years. Uh, depending on how many people are going to have traipsing on it, the best surface is a real nice clean surface. Unstable will cause problems later on. So enjoy the transitions. Uh, and I appreciate your time. Hey, do a brother a favor and subscribe. Okay, there's going to be more coming. Uh, we got some automotives coming up. Um, I got to paint a motorcycle. I got some automotives coming up. We're going to do some hoods. And, and also, we got some canvases for a gentleman out of Connecticut, another one out of Rochester, New York, uh, that we got to get done for the trade show. So, that'll be really cool. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Take care. God bless.